So I feel like I am full of rage right now. And I'm trying to not think about it, but I'm full of rage. I, I feel it coming out of me. I feel it going through me and everything. And I'm trying to channel it into something good by thinking, okay, let's just go to the gym. I'm, I'm a member of a gym now, so I can go to sit in the jacuzzi and try and work out these issues. But there's just there's so many problems. And one of the problems that I want to talk about, which is something that I haven't spoken about ever, really, um, you know how the Queen, she didn't really get involved in politics or polit political issues and stuff. And that was always something that I agreed with, you know, I shouldn't get involved in politics. But that's not the truth. You know, the truth is the real the rulers of the world are not going to agree with the politics that I agree with. I mean, some of them they might agree with, um, but some of them they won't agree with because it might affect them or help them prevent them from getting such a big salary or whatever, you know, there, there are some things that I would do and change that I know would be for the benefit of everyone and even the benefit of the government itself, you know, it'd be much better quality, you know, there's, and I haven't said about talked about it before, because I always felt like if I did talk about it, the people in the government are going to be less wanting to help me because they're going to see me as a threat to their job, a threat to their lifestyle, a threat through all the, all the money and the, the greed and, and everything that they've got. And, you know, I, I know that there's, there is, you know, English government is, I don't even know if I can say it's the best because I haven't done any research into it. I just know that when I watch these parliament videos, I, I can I can only watch it for a minute. It's just it's just squabbling, bitching. And physically, when there was a female as well, when May was there, there was so much hatred towards her. I was just wow. It was like I don't want to be involved in that because it just sounds awful, stressful. You know, most presidents seem to age a lot faster as soon as they become a president or prime minister. Or um, and you know, the politics is is harsh, and yet. I, I think the main reason why you've got all these badges or not badges, vultures, I, 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 some of them are just really, some of them are good and some of them generally want to do what's best. But if you're in an environment where people are constantly going, this is right, this is right, this is right, you know, you've just got all this, the most ma dominant, powerful people all shoved together trying to make the decisions for everyone else. They believe that they're better than everyone else because they've got such a high powered role or a high powered job. And, and they would argue that the reason why they've got such a high powered job and a high powered role is because, you know, they're more qualified than others, they're better than others, when really, they've just got a bigger ego than everyone else. I mean, that's, that's technically the only, I mean, I wouldn't want to get into a, a job like that. Why? Because I don't want to have to go with the stress of, of, you know, having people or coming up with a really good suggestion, and then having everyone tell you that it's wrong. And I, I can't even listen to them. There's some, I don't know, people that badger the conservatives and badger this one I just don't like it, it it's just it's constant bitching and I, I I wouldn't see myself as being ever happy if I was working in politics and so because of that okay they deserve to earn you know a lot of money because it's such a horrible job and not many people actually want to do it unless they're terrible people and but at the same time I feel like if their salary was lower all the people that are just wanting extra money you know they'd go off and do other jobs and 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 do other things and and you might get a better class of people and so on one hand they might argue the reason why they have to have so so high, high salary is because they're doing a really you know a pay a, a job that involves so much stress so much hassle and so much thing but i think the only reason why it is so stressful why it is so much hassle is because you've got all these vulture type people that are actually just there for the money and have a two hundred thousand pound job. I don't even know what these people make each year, but it's probably a lot higher than it should be. And because of that, you've got all these greedy people that don't know what it's like to just live on an average salary. You know, the average salary is about forty thousand, and you know, I, I earn tw less than twenty thousand, and I, I can be I can be happy if only I wasn't being bullied by by the TV. Um, and you know, money doesn't make you happier, but anyone who thinks that you need to have a 200,000 pound salary to be happy, you know, these are or more, these are people that are actually just idiots because they don't know how to be happy. And I'm struggling to know how to be happy. Why? Because I want to die so bloody much. Um, but if I didn't want to die so much, I would know how to be happy. And I also know that I can perfectly be happy on 10 pounds a week, but that's because I'm smart and I'm, I've got a brain and I don't need to chase after the highest, higher salaries. 
And the people who do chase after the higher salaries, they would think that they earn the higher salaries because they're smarter and better than everyone else. And in reality, that's not the truth. In reality, they're just they're just bigger that bigger egos they've got bigger egos and and they just believe that they're better than everyone else and, and then you get all these people in politics that are just arguing and they change the the rules say oh it should be this and then a few months later it changes to this and, and i feel like the rule system is just completely ridiculous because there's some people who who are just selling drugs and there's people that want drugs and they're just trying to you know sell the demand they're trying to make a bit of money okay drugs are expensive and they can make a lot of money very quickly and it's you know, it, drugs are bad because it causes problems. People need money to support their habit and then they go off and steal and stuff like this. But you know what? There is a simple answer. The simple answer is you let them take the drugs, you let them kill themselves. And then there we go. The problem is fixed and you don't have to send people to prison. I just I just feel like you're so busy trying to not kill people that you're ending up just suff making everyone suffer. You know, if, if people want to get hooked on, on drugs, and want to kill themselves because of overdosing or whatever just let them what's wrong with that what is seriously wrong with that i think it's more wrong to get the people who are selling the drugs and to put them in prison for eight or nine years just for i don't know trying to take some drugs from on, on a plane or something you know you can get hugely high things high high prison sentence for this and and yet all you're trying to do is actually stop people from getting hooked on drugs. Now, I know that there's bad because you don't want lots of people hooked on drugs because then there'll be lots of people doing whatever they can to fund the problem. problem. But then again, maybe the reason why drugs are so ex expensive is because um, you know people are going into drug dealing because they're so expensive, um, because they can make lots of money from it. And the only reason why they're expensive is because you've banned it and put all these, you know, these prison sentences you, you know, you're, you're, you're causing, you're trying to fix a problem by causing a problem. So you're causing a problem as in you're making drugs extremely expensive so that no one can get their hands on it. And by no one getting their hands on it, um, drugs are really expensive and then they have to go off and steal and do lots of crimes or rob banks or whatever, just so they can fund their habit. And, and that's what causing more and more problems. So you're trying to solve a problem by causing more problems. And at the end of the day, if someone does want to get hooked on drugs, and if they do find themselves in a hospital dying, you know, just let them die. I, I just, I, I feel like the problem is just so bad that you just need to stop, stop saving people. Like, is that, you know, I, I, I could tell people not to do that because, you know, you need to focus on positive things. You need to focus your addiction. If you, if you are addicted to things, you know, focus on positive things or something that can help your life or whatever. Um, but I just everyone's afraid of dying and I feel like that they're afraid of dying because they're afraid of judgment because that is how you get the real judgment I can't judge you as a human because I don't know you I don't know your past but I know when you do die you will be be judged and everyone is so seems to be so desperate to not die that you know you would make drugs extremely expensive so that people don't die of overdoses and it's just like, well what's wrong if they die of overdoses I mean I know you didn't believe in reincarnation but if you learn that there's some people a lot smarter than others and then you try and figure out oh why is that four-year-old such an amazing pianist or whatever you know has he really just picked that up in four years or is he just picking up memories from a past life you know if you used your brain you would actually think more and you would actually come up with better conclusions and you'd probably come up with better laws and you know when it comes to the politics there is so much stuff i want to say and so much stuff i want to do i just don't want to have to say things and then have people just be like ah, and I'm just when it comes to the English government, you know, I don't even I can't even imagine them being like, OK, come into this courtroom. Let me hear your opinions. I just feel like a lot of them would actually rather just me say that, oh, I'm a dumb blonde. I don't really know. OK, I might be Christ and I'm just very confused. I don't know. I am confused. and I, I have multiple opinions and I do want to kill everyone right now. And then, you know, there is so many negative things about me right now. But I feel like you are the ones who caused it by ignoring me for this long. And still don't know why or who's chosen this this date or when you have to come back to me why it's been this long i don't believe it was ever i don't believe it ever had to be 10 years i really don't believe that i feel like you are the ones who have chosen that date because you couldn't accept the truth or maybe you were waiting to be so scared maybe that's that was it there was some prophecy that's saying you have to wait until you're so scared that or maybe the prophecy is actually 15 years and and now that i'm trying to actually scare you you're actually thinking oh maybe it should be soon i just i don't know the, why why you're ignoring me for this long and i i just feel like the longer you ignore me the more you fail the test because it's more proof 
that you don't trust my opinion and you don't want me to stand up in front of a court and say that actually I, I do know some good decisions and yeah I don't think politicians should have large salaries because having these large salaries are only going to create these horrible people that want to go into it because they're going in it for the wrong reasons they're going in it to you know make money or create laws that only benefit themselves and, and put everyone else down and you know I think the best thing you can do is reduce the population that's the only way you can actually have a happier life because then you won't have to feel so threatened by so many people people that are making the wrong decisions and are just driving people mad through confusion and lies and and you know saying that they know the truth when really they don't know the truth and it's obvious they don't know the truth but they're so convinced that they know the truth you know how many Christians that I've listened to who believe they know the, cru the truth about God you know, I think the same can be said in politics. There's so many people in politics that believe that they know the truth and they know how to fix the country and they know this. And, and it's just like, is this just more lies? You know, I don't know how to fix the country. I don't know how to run a big government. There's, I, I, maybe I do, you know, maybe I do know it. Maybe I just don't have enough confidence in myself to believe that because no one's ever given me a chance to.